Hello people, in this video let us look at these three terminologies disease control, disease elimination and disease eradication and what the differences are. So you have disease control. Control means you want to reduce the incidence of the disease. That means new cases of these diseases you want to reduce. You want to reduce the duration of the disease. You want to uh, reduce the risk of transmission, right? And the effects of this infection also you want to uh, reduce, you want to control the physical complications, the uh, psychosocial complications, all this you want to control. So you're controlling, basically you're trying to control the uh, disease, right? So how will you do all this? So even the financial burden on the community will get reduced, right? If you reduce the uh, disease. So how do you control a disease, guys? We're talking about control. So your focus will be on primary prevention so that people don't get it. And even on secondary prevention, if they get it, you want to reduce the duration of the uh, disease. So how will you do all this? So uh, <clears throat> like hand wash, etc. <clears throat> hygiene, personal hygiene, there are a lot of types of control, right? Under primary prevention, what will you write? Health promotion, specific protection, vaccination, etc. Right? Secondary protect prevention, what will you write? Early diagnosis and treatment. So all that will come under the same thing, guys. Primary prevention and secondary prevention, you can write, right? So primary prevention and secondary prevention, mainly you will write that here. <clears throat> right, you can give examples and you can write a concept of malaria control. You want to do the larva control. You want to co control the adults. You want to control the eggs, right? All these you want to control. You want to have uh, vector control. You want to have uh, water bodies, how you will keep them clean. Personal protection. You can use mosquito nets, etc. So this is control so that the disease will no longer be a public health problem. That's all it is saying. Public health problem, it should not become. That's it. So uh, the agent is still there in the community, like the plasmodium, whatever for malaria. It will be there in the community, but the disease should not be become a public health problem. So you will control. Okay, that is control. Now let's move on to the next thing here. Disease elimination. Elimination means what? So first of all, you have control, right? Then you have elimination. Then you can talk about eradication. Between this Control and eradication, you have this elimination. So that is what the first line here in the textbook says. Between control and eradication, an intermediate goal has been described as regional elimination. Elimination means interruption of the transmission of disease. What is elimination, guys? It is the interruption of transmission of disease. So this is mostly a regional thing, like India. Alright, so um, draw India here and say, this is our very vague India. So, in India, you want to eliminate polio. Elimination of polio in India. So, this is a regional elimination. Only here that you have eliminated. In this region, it is eliminated. Polio is eliminated in India. But it is not yet eradicated. We have not got the eradicated state. So, uh, once it is eliminated from all countries, you can say it is eradicated from the world. We can also try to eliminate measles, diphtheria, right? And this regional elimination is seen as an important precursor of eradication. You want to achieve eradication, regional elimination should have happened. Polio as current status is eliminated. Eradication. Now, eradication means basically literal meaning of eradication is tear it out by the roots. Okay, Terminate all transmission of infection of this uh, uh, in, by extermination of the infectious agent. So what happened to the infectious agent? It is exterminated extermination of the infectious agent, termination of all transmission of infection. Then what else? This is this is an absolute process. Completely it should be gone. It is not like somewhere in between or anything. It is an all or none phenomena and what you want here is there should be a none kind of phenomena. There should be it should be torn out by the roots. There should be eradication there should be extermination of the infectious agent. And here, the only disease that is uh, eradicated globally is smallpox, they are saying. The smallpox is caused by what? Variola virus, right? They are saying this is the only disease eradicated globally. But if I am not wrong, even this draconculiasis also can be included, isn't it? And they are also in internet says uh, rinder pest is also eradicated. Future will be able to eradicate polio, measles, etc. Guys, smallpox, you remember, is eradicated, okay? The others are on the way. And if I'm not wrong, even Dracomculiasis, guinea worm, right? Even this is uh, eradicated. Looks like the uh, 
Drachenphiliasis, this is the one, okay. So just remember eradication means tear it out by the roots, extermination of the infectious agent, termination of all transmission of infection and smallpox uh, example, okay, so that is eradication. Uh, where is polio? Polio is not there in India, it's eliminated, but it is there uh, in uh, Pakistan and Afghanistan, they are saying, right, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Nigeria also, right, pan countries has uh, polio. They want to elim uh, eradicate malaria also. So WHO is doing a lot for all this. So basically how do you uh, start off? You start off with the control, then you go to regional elimination, then finally if possible eradication. Okay, so that is the uh, concepts of control. Control you saw, you want to reduce the incidence, the duration, the risk of transmission, the effects of the infection, financial burden on the community you want to reduce. So you will have primary prevention and secondary prevention. Primary prevention basically health promotion specific protection, secondary prevention, early diagnosis and treatment so that the disease will be there in the environment but it will not be a public health problem. So that is about uh, control. Then you have disease elimination where elimination is used, uh, there is a term used to describe interruption in the disease of transmission, sorry, interruption of transmission of disease. Example here they are giving measles, polio, diphtheria. Regional elimination uh, like uh, in India polio is eliminated. So that is seen as a precursor to eradication. Future, it will lead to eradication. These eliminations put together, regional eliminations, finally will lead to eradication of the disease. So it is torn out by the uh, roots. This is something, uh, eradication is a word that is they are using for the whole world. Okay, It's not just region. They are talking about the cessation of infection and disease from the whole world. And smallpox is the only disease that, that is what this textbook version is saying. Apart from that, you can remember guinea worm, draculiasis. Okay. And polio could be next, uh, if it is removed from three countries like Afghanistan, pa uh, Pakistan and Nigeria, then polio can be join the eradication, uh, eradicated list of diseases, right? And they are trying to eradicate measles, malaria, everything they are trying to eradicate, okay? So in this video, you have understood the difference between control, elimination and eradication. That's all for now, guys. In this video, see you. Bye-bye.